told you to do. Isn't it amazing? I remember mama when mama said, I want you to mow the yard. And then your big cousin would come over and your big cousin said, come on, let's go around the block. And because they were your big cousin, you followed them. And when mama got home and the yard wasn't mowed, maybe I'm talking about me, but mama, when mama got home and, 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 and the yard wasn't mowed, you would say, mama said, what happened? You would say, my cousin, such, such came over and told me to follow him. And then mama had this one question. Mama said, what did I tell you to do? What did I tell you to do? See, some of us are doing what man said. But God has said, what did I tell you to do? Some of us are following the plan of man. But God said, what did I tell you to do? I told you to do this. But you done got off course. You got off the blueprint. And you wanted to do your own thing. But God said, get to your assignment. Tell somebody, neighbor, you are assigned to do your assignment. God said, I wish. He said, I have thoughts to prosper you. He said, I want a plan set the Lord to prosper you, not to harm you. God said, it may hurt, but it won't harm you. Yeah, I know that at the same time, they did that it hurt you, but don't let what hurt you be what hinders you. Yeah, they drop you like a hot potato, but God is God enough. If he has to reach way down, he'll pick you up. And when God picks you up, he'll dress you up. And when he dress you up, he'll set you up. And when he sets you up, you'll give him a praise. You'll give him some glory. Because God he did it tell somebody that what you see is not of me but God did it cause I'm part of the blueprint if you're part of the blueprint say I'm glad to be part of the blueprint he said you got to you gotta follow the purpose he said you got to you gotta live life hey he said you got to do the assignment and I'm getting ready to go but in when I get somebody say in in other words God said you are new you gotta work the newness you're not the old man you don't cuss like you used to cuss you don't fight like you used to fight you don't get mad like you used to get mad cause God said I'm working a plan and you are in the plan in other words don't waste your now tending to things that are not fruitful in your later can I preach right here your now is not your later I come to tell somebody that whatever you do he said I have thoughts I got plans to prosper you I got plans not to harm you but at the end you shall have greatness I haven't expected in look at your neighbor who's your neighbor this is not to end to your story your life is to be continued your future is waiting on you this is your get up season tell your neighbor neighbor get up and work the plan get up put the plan I feel preaching plan work the plan be what God has called you to be do what God has called you to do shake your neighbor for the last time it's your neighbor stir up the gifts that are inside of you stir it up your joy stir it up your prophecy stand up work 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 the plan shall yeah yeah yeah
I got to get out of here. But I thank God. You just like. You're like the medicine bottle. When they prescribe you. For the heal. When they prescribe you. With the medicine bottle. They have instruction. They have blueprints. They have plans. They said before. You take this medicine. Shake it. You got to shake. And then they said shake it. Shake it well. In other words. When you shake it. You're stirring up. All the things. That are in the bottle. The thing. The devil. Threw at you. All he was doing. Was shake it. All they were doing. Was shake it. Somebody. That is in this house. Turn up and start shaking. Say, I'm stirring up the gifts of God. I'm stirring up the gift. What was settled down in the bottle. In other words, some of you got comfortable. Some of you got settled. But I come as your shaker. I come to preach this word. To tell you, Shake it, shake up, stir up the gifts, work the plan, work the plan, don't hurt the plan, work the plan, somebody shout I'm working, I'm working while it's day, I'm working while I got joy, I'm working while I got a praise, now praise him for what he's getting ready praise him for the stirring praise him for the plan praise him for the joy praise him for the level of prosperity yeah you like you like the Jefferson you're moving on up somebody said I'm going up I'm going up because I'm working the plan I'm working Mother Walker I'm working I'm working the plan lie on me I'm working Sheet on me I'm working yeah somebody work it work it work your gift work it if you're gonna pray be a prayer warrior if you're gonna sing sing your song if you're gonna preach preach the word if you're gonna dance dance to the Lord the work work the plan grab your neighbor for the last time who's a neighbor work the plan not shake them tell them stir it up stir it up yeah that was the wrong neighbor tell your neighbor say neighbor don't play with me if you gonna shake me shake me if you gonna stir me up stir me up now grab him now shift shake stir it up work the plan work the ministry work 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 Yeah, work, work, work the plan, work, work, now lift your hands and say, Lord, shake me up, Lord, stir me up, Lord, work me so I can work the plan, now give them a shout, now give Come on, stir it up, stir, stir, stir it up, stir it up. Yeah. Woo. 
I'm trying to get out of here. But look down your rope. Look down your rope and tell the people that are on your wall the next time you see me, I'm going to be working the plan. The next time I see you, I need to see you working a plan. Now tell them the clock is ticking. Go to work. Go to work. Get out of here. Go to work. Get out of here. Go. 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 Yeah. Some of y'all been on spiritual unemployment. But I come today to do like the government. I'm coming to cut your check. Get yourself up and go to work. Get yourself up. Work that gift. Work that prophecy. Work. Work. For the last time, man, I'm trying to close this message. You done talk to your neighbor. Now talk to the person behind you. Say we may be practicing social distancing, but this word is gonna reach you. Tell them work the plan, work the promises, work your life work the assignment walk in your newness I'm new baby I'm new I'm new baby I'm new new work work shall ya I gotta stop I, I'm trying, and for some reason, I keep seeing that medicine bottle. Hmm. Somebody lift your hand and say, Lord, I'm your medicine to this world. Shake me up so they can take your word. Shake me up so I can be distributed. Shake me up because when I hit them, they're going to be healed. They're going to be delivered. They're going to be set free. Shake, 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 shake. Now give God a shake praise. Give God. I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds. Go on and praise him. Oh. Oh!
Because you stop shaking the bottle, the stuff still, the stuff don't stop. It keep on moving. Look. Say, neighbor, just because the music stop, you keep on moving, you keep on working, you keep on giving them praise, you keep on. The plan work. Somebody shall work the plan. I was I mm, my God. I was conversating with someone with much erudition. And they said to me, well, you know, sometimes you got to work the plane. I said, I'm going to steal. I'm going to work. I'm going to preach that. And they said, you just got to work the plane. Sister, Sister LaVonda said something. Sister Mill said something to me. And I, I can't forget during this pandemic. She texts me. I think she texts me. And she really asked me. She said, Bishop, do you think this pandemic was for you? And I was like, how can God pause the whole world just for me? I'm thinking in my mind. Why would God put the whole world to a pause just for me? And she said, in the text, it was more like, she was just questioning. Do you think this pandemic for you? Was it to show you who really, <laughs> really want to do this thing? Y'all ain't helping me. And I sat there for a minute. This was before anything transpired. 
I sat there and I said, God, why would you do this for me? Or add me to it. But now that I done preached this word, God said you were one of the medicine bottles. Mm. He said, I had to shake you up. <laughs> he said, I had to shake you up. He said, because what's in you, oh, my God, once y'all take that medicine, y'all feel real good, don't you? God said, when that world get a taste of what I put in you, y'all ain't going to help me in here. <laughs> oh, somebody said, when the world get a taste of what God has put in me, I'm talking about you, just said on the world will be healed. Yeah. And see, and see, I sat there and I watched that. I looked at that text. I didn't, I didn't mention that. I, I looked and I watched it in that text and I say, sometimes God will use people to, to, to state you've got none because I did get comfortable. I got comfortable. You know, we were, we were the purple church. We were, we were the purple. We were, we were, everything was rolling. I mean, just rolling smooth. And Mr. B's like, I got comfortable with things just rolling smooth the building is getting the plans of the building is running God said I'm finna shake up some stuff what you don't know is you got podcast in you <laughs> what you don't know you need to be preaching to people in Kenya amen by the way let's thank God for our Kenya family that's where amen our Kenya family they watching Zambia Zambia as well hallelujah God said, I got stuff in you. So what I'm saying to some of y'all today, I use me as an example. But the reason you may be going through a certain thing, God's trying to stir up. What's in you? You got comfortable with things just being. Now they call it the new norm. God said, I didn't ordain you to be normal. You knew, but it ain't normal. <laughs> you knew, but it ain't normal. It's, it's a crazy newness now. It's a crazy newness because you're saying now, oh, if I, because when we come out, when they come out of the pandemic, the, we're going to, when we come out of this, we're going to be some real soldiers. But God said, I had to shake up some things so you can work the plan. I wouldn't have never known some of the things, and I, I'm not trying to talk about me, but I, that's the only person I know is me. <laughs> business I'm in that's the only person business I'm in is mine somebody said mind your own business put your mind on your business stop minding all my business and tell what you do but anyway and so all this happened because God put me in a pause and I'm going to say this to the, those of you that are watching those of you online those of you in the, in the building I went to this store and I'm close. Went to this store, Sister Bacole, and I saw this globe. And I said, to, every time Lady Calvin knows she's at home, I'd barely go shopping with her, especially shopping for something for the house. I said, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll just cash up you something and go, you do what you do. <laughs> Amen. They ain't, got no, they ain't got no chairs in there for us to sit down. <laughs> but anyway. But I was in the store, but every time I walked by this globe, I told my minister team, I said, every time I walked by this globe, something about this globe was pulling on me. And I decided, okay, I'm going to buy this globe. I bought this globe. And the lady said, what you going to do with it? I said, I'm just going to put it on my desk. So I thought. I put the globe on my desk and I spin it. And I said, God, your will be done. And after I said that, getting calls from different people on the covering. In the international world. Y'all ain't helping me. I just said, God, your will be done. And I saw, and I, me and Jay was in the office this morning. We were just looking at the globe. And I said, that's a blueprint. When you look at the globe, that's all it is. It's a drawing of the places God wants us to attack. Amen. To play. It's the draw. It's a blueprint. It's a drawing. 
God said, I want you to cover the Jay said, what is place? And I was showing him on the globe where it was. South America, North America, Arabia, all these places. God said, I want y'all to work the plan. To reach the world. Work the plan. Father, I thank you right now. Under the sound of my voice, there are people who may have hindered the plan. They were hurt. But God, because you are God, and because you are God Almighty, you know the plan. But God, you want us to work the plan. Today, touch the individuals that are watching. Touch the individuals that are in this house. That they will work the plan that you have for them. Yes, the world said they were going to be one thing. But God, you already called them to be another thing. You said all these things are working together for the good. That's why you shook us up. It's working for our good. It's working for the 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 good. Oh! Now heal where there needs to be healing. Deliver where there needs to be delivered. In Jesus' name, amen. Now work the plan. Come on, praise God right where you are. You may be in here and you may be watching. You say, man of God, I don't know Jesus. I'm, I didn't know I was a part of the plan. I didn't know I was important. I didn't know I was who you said I am. And you said, but I, I got everything right, but except I don't have my life right. And you say, I want to give my life to the Lord. You say, I really want to be saved. I want to know God for myself. I want to know Jesus for myself. If that's you, you say, I want to know Jesus for myself. I want you to lift your hands. If you're watching online, you say, I want to know Jesus. I want to know Jesus. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of doing man's plan and not God's plan. I want to work. I want to do God. If that's you, just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I have sinned. But I ask you to forgive me for my sin. Come into my heart and be my savior from this day forward. I believe you died and got up for my sin. And because of that, I accept you as the savior of my life in Jesus' name. If that's you, if you prayed that prayer, you have now been converted. You have now, you're a part of the plan. But all you got to do now is work the plan. That's all you got to do is work the plan. How many of you made up in your mind you're going to work the plan? You're going to work the plan. 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 Listen, on the screen, on the screen, you will see ways you can sow to this ministry. You can sow towards this word. If God has touched you, if God has ministered to you, you came on late and you said, man of God, I heard you preaching, but I didn't know what you were preaching about, but you want to sow. That's his, this is your time. You in the building, you say, I want to sow towards that word because that's my, that's my word right there. I'm sowing towards my blueprint. When they asked me for Bibles over there in, in uh, Pakistan, I said, all they want is blueprints for their lives. So we're going to help them with the blueprint. The architect, which is God, who never makes a mistake. He put every boat where they need to be. He put every screw where they need to be. See, sometimes we build stuff and it be leaning. And we wonder why. We didn't use no tape measure. And we wonder why. The water leaning in your glass. It's because it's not level. But God is the great architect. He's the great architect. So as we're sowing, you can sow seed on today. But I want to push you. I want to pray now. I'm believing y'all. I didn't say it earlier. Let's support on the 20, on the last Sunday of this month. We're going to be, we're going to be celebrating 11 years of ministry. Come on. On the, on the, on the last Sunday of this month. We're going to be celebrating uh, 11 years of ministry. I want you to sow. On the screen, you will see what we call support division. We're going to have the support division. I want you to get, I want you to sow. Whatever God tells you, you can sow now or later on. There's ways. That I want you to get a significant seed ready for that Sunday and say, I'm sowing towards the plan that God has for our church. Come on. How many of you believe that? I'm sowing toward the plan that God has, that campus is out there. 
mothers, y'all better be sewing because somebody prophesied and said we're going to have a school from grade one through five out there. Hello, somebody. Y'all ain't shouting. Y'all ain't shouting like that. You talking about I want a husband. Well, when you get a husband, you're going to get children. <laughs> and you send your children to the school. <laughs> hey, man, I just helped all you. I just worked the whole plan right there. I just helped y'all out right there. You better see. Uh, somebody said, I don't want no children. Maybe you're going to adopt. I don't know. Some of y'all, some of y'all, somebody, maybe, maybe Abraham may come back. <laughs> but you have ways you can sow. Amen. Ty live, Ty, for those of you watching us live all over the world, we love y'all. Thank you for our new family. Come on, let's celebrate our new family. We want to say thank you all for tuning in. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for worshiping with us. Come on, New Direction. Come on, Purple Church. Let's celebrate our live audience. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I thank God for what he's doing.